I got into sport probably the ages of like four or five, really. Ballet, the jazz, and then swimming and stuff. So I've done sport since I could practically walk. I think I was got into sport from quite a young age. I've always been into it in a way that I started doing ballet and tap when I was really young. Um, that was kind of to strength, strengthen my legs. And then swimming kind of took over. I started swimming lessons. And then when I was about six to seven years old, that's where swimming just went off. And that was my pure focus and enjoyment. I first started diving when I was seven, but the first time that I actually started sports was learning to swim at the age of two. Gosh, I was quite late. I was a late bloomer. Um, I got into sport around the age of about 24. Yeah, and uh, that was after I finished university and I, I, my doctor told me, listen, with your leg, regardless of whether you amputate it or not, you're never going to be an athlete. And I kind of then decided, well, why not? And so I went on this, this uh, journey of self-discovery and uh, kind of snowballed out of control and here I am. <laughs> I think it's extremely important for people to get into sport, not only for the physical benefits, but also for the mental aspect as well. For me, diving was a great place that I could go and meet friends and go and have fun with, with kids my age and, and learn something new. Put myself out there, be brave, make strides and, and, and get better. And it was a really, really fantastic place to be in to mould my childhood. I think it's so important for young people to get into sport. I think the benefits it has for not only your physical health, but your mental health. Whenever I've gone swimming, even if it's just for half an hour or so, I felt amazing after it. I think, yeah, it brings so much positivity into your life. I think sport teaches you a lot. And I, I came to this very late and I, it teaches you how to lose, teaches you how to win, teaches you how to you know, be resilient, uh, have discipline, you know, because as we know, things in sport, they don't always go to plan. Um, and I think that's really, really important to learn and nothing really teaches or humbles you like like sport. I think it's important for kids to do, well, to be in sport, period. It's just because it triggers their minds in different ways. For me, it was just like the best because as much as it was like, okay, I couldn't go home and play with my friends after school and all that type of stuff, but it gave me a focus, it gave me a drive. I always knew I had a goal. Whether it was I was going to make the Olympics or not, it was still, no, I want to do well at this competition. It was always like the, the next competition or the next place I got to visit because I got to travel and I, I loved that. And I know not many of my friends did. So sport would just, it doesn't change your life, it just gives you a different perspective. And it's just like, why not just explore it? You don't have to do it for a long time, but at least you know you tried and you did it you know, you'd learn so much from it. The message that I'd give to young people inspiring to be athletes would be to never give up on your dream. It's something that I've always stuck by and I feel like if you truly have a dream of becoming a high level athlete, especially an Olympian, you need to work hard every single day and keep going even when it gets tough. You know, sometimes feel like you move forward one step and backwards two steps, but that sport and the journey is always up and downs. And as long as you keep that goal in mind and keep working towards it, then who knows what you could achieve. My advice for people getting into sport would just be try something that you completely enjoy. I think if you can enjoy a sport then that will just lead you in so many different paths. Take it one step at a time and like I say do it frequently, do it as often as possible and just enjoy it because I think that's the main thing. Don't give up on your first hurdle, like it's not always going to go your way. Something is going to get you down, you will get upset, you may lose, you may win, but just enjoy the ride because it's, it's, it's going to be crazy, but just enjoy it. There's, there's worse things you could do in life and sport is not one. Don't aspire to it, do it. Go out there, find you know any sport, find something that you love to do, try different sports. If you don't know that you love it yet, give it a good go. Give another sport a go. Try everything, do all the things. The only way you're going to know is by doing it. And then if you do it enough, you might get good at it. And then if you get good at it, you, you know, I mean, the sky's the limit with that. I give the same advice each time, which, I, you know, I, I never say that hard work pays off because I think sometimes it's the ugly truth is that maybe it, it doesn't, um, but it might. And I think that's really exciting. Um, and that's the truth. If you don't give up and, you know, you're relentless, you just, you know, you refuse to let people tell you what they think you're capable of, it's going to be really hard to stop you. My Move Now challenge for you is to get outside and do a 15 minute walk every single day. My Move Now challenge for you would be to try and get 20 minutes of physical activity in every day. My Move Now challenge for you guys is to do a 5K. It sounds scary, but it's, it's super not that scary. Walk a little bit, run a little bit, but just keep moving. You'll be surprised, I think, with what you can do. So, good luck. My Move Now challenge for you is to take a 10 minute walk or jog a day.